Okay, so first I'll start with um, preparing these uh, PCBs. To do so, I use um, a technique that is, you could call a DIY um, refo soldering technique. I use a frame. Uh, Fix the frame to the table. Okay, like this. And now I've got to put uh, the solder paste. This is actually lead free solder paste um, to put this on uh, you can either use uh, like the classic stainless steel um, stencils I made one for the bigger PCB but actually you can also use a laser cut um, transparent this works perfectly as well I prepared one for the smaller PCB so I'm gonna try this right now I put it on top on the PCB. Check the correct position. Now I'll take some <coughs> solder paste. Put it here on top like this, and then with a simple metallic piece like this, this is the trick. So now I carefully take off the stencil, and that's the result. You can see now there is solder paste on all the pads. I'll do this again for a second one since uh, we need two antenna. So I need two of these um, PCBs. Then since everything is prepared I will do the microcontroller print as well right now. Good thing about this modular setup is that you can build like one microcontroller board and then add um, different types of resonator to test different setups. Or a good thing is also um, to if you want to have a it's best to have a small PCB because this is does cost you less and if you want to have a big distance from the two antennas which makes it easier to play then you can just put a long cable in between the two um, receivers and still you have a short distances from the antenna to the receiver now we will use this, stencil, this metal stencil. <coughs> this might last, uh, last a little bit longer than the plastic one, but actually I used the plastic for workshops with several times and it never broke, so it's not really worth um, paying a lot for this uh, steel. It's a little bit nicer if you look at this, but it's not really worth the money.
Here you can see I put a little Mr. Lefteramin up in the corner. It will disappear later as I put the programming socket on top of it. Okay, so this is all for the screen printing. I use some paper and some acetone to clean. But this it's really easy to clean it for the next. PCBs here.